In this first lesson regarding nomenclature, we're going to take a look at binary ionic compounds, which are also called salts, and we're going to look at how to go from the name to the formula. We're going to focus on the compounds, binary compounds, between groups 1, 2, 13, and 15, 16, and 17. Now, a binary salt is, as the name implies, a compound that's going to be made up of only two different elements. That's where we get the binary. Ionic they're going to form ions, so we're going to have oppositely charged ions attracting each other and forming these compounds. So let's look at our first example, lithium fluoride. Now note that in our formulas, in our names for these formulas, we're going to see the cation first and the anion second. And if you remember, the cation is the positive ion and the anion is the negative ion. Lithium forms a positive 1 or 1 plus oxidation state or charge in this case and fluorine which is what the fluoride is representing forms a negative 1 or 1 negative oxidation state or charge. Since we have a 1 to 1 ratio between the charge values meaning we've got a 1 plus and a 1 negative the charges of those two are going to cancel each other out and the lithium and fluoride ion will attract each other. We would write that formula then as simply LIF without any subscripts or numbers because we only need one of each element there or one of each ion to represent what the formula for the compound is. In a second example, we're not going to see that. In magnesium fluoride, we see that the magnesium forms a 2 plus and the fluoride is a 1 minus. Since we have unequal oxidation values or charges, we're going to find a common multiple. And the common multiple between the 2 and the 1 uh, is 2. If we take the magnesium with a 2 plus and multiply it by 1, we get 2. If we take the fluoride, multiply it by 2, we would get a 2 negative total charge. And we see that they now cancel each other out. To do that requires us to have two fluoride ions and one magnesium. We represent that then as a formula with magnesium, a subscript of understood one, and fluoride with a subscript of two, representing a neutral compound where we have the charges for the two ions balanced out. Another example is going to be cesium fluoride. In this example, we see that cesium is going to be the 1 plus and sulfide has a 2 negative. Our common multiple is 2. We are going to need two cesiums to form the 2 plus. We need one of the sulfurs. So our formula is going to be cesium with a subscript 2 sulfide. Another example is going to be aluminum selenide. But this time around we have a 3 plus for the aluminum and a 2 minus for the selenium. Our common multiple is 6. That means that this time we're going to have to take both of our ions and multiply them by a value. We're going to have to take the aluminum times 2, that would give us a 6 plus. We're going to have to take the selenium times 3, that would give us a 6 minus, so that we have our charges balanced out and equal. And our formula then is going to be Al2Se3. As you see, when we're writing out the formula for these compounds, it's pretty basic. All you've got to do is look for the common multiple, make sure the charges total are going to be balanced with a total positive and total negative being equal, and represent how many of each of those ions as a subscript in the compound formula. 